because you've worked in administration for a very long time, not only in South Africa, but across the continent as well. What's your assessment of the administration of women's sports in particular? Is it getting better? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, improvement. We, we've made strides, but we've also regressed. Uh, to me, it seems as if we take 10 steps forward and take 12 steps backwards. Now, what do I mean? We have now put women in sport in the media, out there, but what happens in the boardroom is not the same. Now, as a woman that has always been in administration in sport, I've suffered the victimization. I've had to prove myself because, um, you know, when you get into any board, you can go read all the constitutions in this country, except for SASCOC that has legislated a 50-50 and their representation is 60-40, which is a good thing. A lot of the federations in this country are still hiding behind constitutions. And this is because they are ensuring that women don't make it to the top table. And if women make it to the top table and you are a loud mouth like a Nomsa or a Munira, they kick you out. And fact is, we need to empower women better. We need to equip women better on how to survive because I was telling a story a few minutes ago. I was always on survival mode for the past 15 years of my life because I've had to work five times harder than my male counterparts. And after you've achieved the results, it will never be credited to you. They will credit other people. And that in itself kills a lot of morale in women. And I would want to say to women out there, we need to fight this, not for ourselves, but for future generations. And you need to understand that whatever you do, it's not about you, it's not for you. But it's also important to recognize and appreciate the strides that have been made, particularly by government and other federations like cricket, rugby, yes, football, but we need to do more because as I sit and chat, I've said this like 10 years ago, that the only team in South Africa, and I'll speak about football because it's my passion, the only team in South Africa that is likely to make it to a final of the World Cup is Banyana, not Bafana. <laughs> it's a fact. I, I can state facts to prove that. Now, it is important for women in this country to ensure that when you have made it, you pull others with you. Because you can never fight this alone. But it is also about the demographics. There's more women than men. So why must we continuously try and prove ourselves? Now, the workshop that was held here empowers women. Now, after being empowered, you then need to understand that you have to go and serve. And in serving, you must then open the pathway for other women. This notion of being the only one, being the chosen one, it needs to stop. And it has to stop today. It, it cannot be about you. There are other people that are better than you. And allow them to shine. And that is why we are not as many. Because as soon as you shine, you don't want others to shine. Thank you.